One morning at 10 at 6, the Indians were talking about an American coming to the island. Did you hear? Asked Duck. Hear what? An American is coming to the island. I hope he's going western. Nonsense, said Gordon. They must be one of the greatest Alleyo Ranchers, like me. The Indians continued talking about the new ranchers for a few minutes. After hours of waiting, the engine arrived. Good morning, my dear engines. This is Nathan. I have agreed to give him a trial. You'll stay on the island until his trial ends. Well, I have to go now. Good afternoon, everyone. And, and with that, he, he walked away. Percy decided he, he would give the engine a warm welcome. Welcome to the island of Sub- Shut up! <laughs> Excuse me? Asked Percy, annoyed. All of you steamers are just useless scrap. We diesels are more reliable. We've said this before. We come to a yard and improve it. We know everything. And with that, Nathan oiled away without saying another word. The Indians liked Nathan at first, but now they weren't so sure. At Crosby, the ferry was waiting in a siding when James pulled up next to him. Have you heard about the new diesel? asked James. No, what's with him? Well, he's disgusting. He yelled at the engines in devastation. He didn't even apologize. Well, that doesn't sound right. Just then, a single man walked up to Barry. They need you at Wasworth. They say it's an emergency. You must get there as soon as you can. Well, this better be something good, or this was a complete waste of time, said Barry as he puffed away. Good luck, James told him. When Barry got to Wasworth, the station master was waiting for him. Glad you're here. The new diesel got stuck on a hill with the express. Well, it seems this is the said Ben. Up on the hill, Nathan rests tired over the express. His cooling system hasn't been maintained for weeks, and it failed as a result. Wait, I think I forgot something said his driver. Well, you should just check it before we go, said Nathan crossly. A, f a few moments later, Barry appeared by his side. Well, you must be the new engine, right? Just shut up and help me, said Nathan. Okay, okay, jeez, said Nathan as he thought. Soon, Barry was coupled up to Nathan. Well, now it's time to prove that steam engines are better than diesel engines. Barry as he started off. After taking Nathan down the line, they soon stopped at Abbey Station. <laughs> I've done it, he said to himself. Presently, Sir Captain had arrived. Well done, Barry. I should have asked this engine driver if his cold system was maintained. It looked like it hadn't, but regardless, you are a really useful and enterprising engine. And so, Barry continues to pull passenger trains on down the line to this day. And as for Nathan, he repaired and sent back to the mainland in his 
disgrace. But then the two things arrived. An army's fell and a busted through system. 